Hey, if you join the army, we'll we'll change your life. Oh, for real? What I gotta do? Nothing. So the army just out here changing lives like that for the free? God right, detective. I'm really inspired by the wave of young people making TikToks and other videos calling out the bullshit they hear from military recruiters. You know what I'm saying? Just get you a job, go to work, man. We're gonna make sure your teeth straight. You can see your kids go to school. What the f What about a car? You ever had a Camaro? Yeah. Yeah, we giving them out. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> uh-huh, yup. You could be Jell IV. Here in this video, he points out some of the most common lies recruiters tell young kids when they're considering their career prospects. Let's go through some of them. But anyway, any questions, young 18 year old child that don't know finesse when they hear it? First, he talks about how it'll change their life. And for some people, sure, but that's because they like to prey on people who come from broken families or low income communities and schools because they know stability is something they don't have. Having steady income through a job in the military is probably the best prospect a lot of people can get and they might feel like they aren't qualified for college. Coverage for tuition is another selling point and there's a lot of strings attached to how the military covers tuition. We don't have time for that, but it's not quite as simple as just free college. In fact, they never say that because it's not true. You might have to pay up front and then they'll cover some or most of it if you make it home alive. Yeah, I just got one question. Oh, uh, what about going to war? Oh, you ain't gotta worry about that. It, it's so rare. It's so rare that people die in the army. It's so rare. So if I get a job doing finances, you know, I, I, I won't have to go to war. Nah, nah, you know, unless it's like an all hands on deck type of situation. Nah. How often do them happen? It's so rare. It's so rare. And that brings me to another point. They really downplay the risk that you take on by enlisting. They don't want to tell potential recruits that, hey, you could die in this. It's always, hey, you're going to make friends for a lifetime. You love steady income, health care, and college. But it's never, you might lose a limb or even die. You might watch your friends die. They can't do that because it's too grim, but that's the reality of war. These are trained salespeople. They're going to bury the lead. They have a quota and they need to hit it. So they're not going to meet that by telling a 17 or 18 year old that they could die by signing on the dotted line. Deceptive tactics by military recruiters aren't new, but through social media, we're seeing more and more how they operate in a digital age. You might have even seen this video where people who did enlist sent messages to their recruiters. Hey Omar, if you could say one thing to your recruiter, what would it be? Hey word. Word, 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 word. Yeah. If you could say one thing to a recruiter, what would it be? That was fucking bull. <laughs> hey. Uh -huh. If you could tell one thing to a recruiter, what would it be? And this is something that I covered specifically. In 2020, when everyone was at home in quarantine, I noticed the Army and Navy started streaming a bit more on Twitch. So I decided to check out some of their streams. And while I was there, I noticed a link in their chat telling people to click it to enter a giveaway to win an Xbox Elite Series 2 controller. And for the non-gamer viewers, that's a $200 controller. It's a pretty nice get. So I clicked the link and scrolled around and what I found was a recruiting form. There was no mention of a contest, a giveaway, rules, how many prizes there were, anything that's required for an actual giveaway. It was a bait and switch. And because Twitch, which boasts that it could reach 80% of young males in this country aged 13 to 18, that's really dangerous. So what you're doing is lying to kids who are watching your channel. And what's even more dangerous is they were playing games like Call of Duty, which is blatant military propaganda. You're not going to see the real life consequences in that game. If you want to learn more, you can read this piece. And if you really are bothered by this, and I think you should be, you should check out beforeyouenlist.org. In addition to that, War Resisters League has a ton of counter-recruiting information. If you are considering enlisting, please consider other alternatives. It doesn't have to be the only way that you can pay for college or pay to keep a roof over your head. There are other options and there are groups there to help you. Don't believe recruiters' lies.